Heidi Watney met with the players earlier. Heidi, where do you sense this team is mentally coming into this division series? Matt, I visited with several players and coaches ahead of this opening game of the division series, and one thing I noticed was a sense of calm or quiet confidence. They feel like there isn't much standing in their way as long as they can continue to do what got them here. Well, that's easier said than done, but there is a lot of belief in this clubhouse right now. Moving off of the Indians, the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. First pitch on its way. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Well, the Yanks came into the season with sky-high expectations, and now they have a shot to make good on them as they'll start their fourth straight postseason bid. No doubt about it, Matty. Look at the talent on this roster from day one. You know the fans of the Bronx wouldn't accept anything less than a trip to the World Series, and they're seven wins away from making that happen. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? The that good the straight changeup, El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed, and the ball, it just doesn't get there. In now, Cesar Hernandez. Grounded up the first baseline. Fielded cleanly, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over. Now in the box, Francisco Lindor. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop. Defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Swing and a line drive. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Tribe. It remains 1-0. Bring in Giovanni Urshela. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Now here's the pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Here's the pitch. No, that's down. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here, three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Past history with Mike Clevenger. He's 0 for 4. From the stretch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. 
Hey, what a great pitch right there in a big situation to pull a string on that changeup. He knew that hitter was going to be super aggressive. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Two balls and a strike. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Now the 2 1 is strike two swinging. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Aaron Judge is on deck. Now the three and two pick. Count remains full. Working for the punch out and the offering. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3 2. Runners off for second. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3 2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Aaron Judge is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1 0. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Change up low, 2 0. Oh. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. In there, 2 and 1. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. One that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. And they are able to get the out at first, but more importantly, let's hope he's okay on the mound. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Here's the first pitch to him. One oh. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive. But you have to get a pitch you can drive. The set and the 1 0 pitch. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Urshela on third. Torres at second with one away. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. At the plate, Corey Dickerson 
He swings and lines it to left. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. Now the relay home. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Dan, from a pitcher's standpoint, that's a backbreaker. Two out, two RBI base hit right there. Awfully frustrating. You're trying to make some good pitches. You get two outs and all of a sudden give up that big base hit that drives in two. Frustrating for a pitcher. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And it's 0 and 2 to Sanchez. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. On to the seventh here in game one. The Yankees lead it three to nothing. In now, Fran Reyes. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Fouled away. Here's the 0-2. To first, he's got it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Tyler Winkler. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. One for two in the ball game thus far. First delivery to him on the way. In there, and it's 0-1. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit down the line at first. But uh, this will get foul for strike two. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. So now Carlos Santana as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh no hits to this point. Can't get around quick enough and that'll move the count to one and one. No runs five hits no errors to this point for the Indians. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Again, a one two. Hit back up the middle. 
reined in. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Indians go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the pitch. Count one and oh. The 1 0 home is looked at oh, off the plate for a ball. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. And the pitch on two and one. In there, two and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Emmanuel Passe comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Number 48, Emmanuel Passe. Giancarlo Stanton now as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one a hit and two tries for him so far two balls and no strikes the count to Stanton late that time for a strike. Classe is at least partially known for his big power slider. A lot of break on that pitch, but what makes it unique is how hard he's able to throw it. Here's the 2-1 home. And this one's low here, so the count swells to 3-1. and one. DJ LeMayhew waits on deck. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. And it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that will bring in D.J. LeMayhew. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No balls in one strike. Here's the 0-1. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Now some movement in the Tribe bullpen as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The 1-1 home. 
great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. High in the air out to center field. Naquin is right there, one down. Now a long throw to third. We'll see if moving up to third pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. Ready now, Gio Urshela. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0-2 in a big spot. And he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. All right. No more hoping he's going to chase. It's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. He set now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Classic slider down and away for the strikeout okay. there. Not a that's whole lot to say hitter. about that pitch that hasn't right, been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. At the plate now, Torres. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. to hang a zero here's the pitch slow little roller to third he's right there throw on to first and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over so it's no runs on a hit no errors and two men left on eighth inning coming up the Yankees are out in front three to nothing New inning set to get underway, so striding in Domingo Santana it was a single for him in his last at bat Here's the first pitch to him. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Santana in front, two balls and no strikes. Strike called, two and one. You know, he fell behind 2 0, Maddie, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. Driven nicely into the gap. He's around first, heading for two. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Now they haven't had much luck so far tonight, so they'll definitely take that extra base in. It only takes one, so maybe they can string together a few and get back into this thing. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three-run lead. Zach Britton is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 53, Zach Britton.
stepping in now, Oscar Mercado, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Working for the punch out and the offering. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw on to first in time, one away. The captain, number 55, Roberto Perez. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Roberto Perez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line drive or hit a potential home run, but I'll tell you what. Grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball, middle of it. And he drops it. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a three to one ball game. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get, and boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. So now to the plate, Jose Ramirez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. You like the modern style of baseball, here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. Count even now at one and one. One run, seven hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. This is foul right side. The one two is at the knees and called strike three. Digging in the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. He was a ground out. Victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a line drive. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dino? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here and bust through in this one. That'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Tough to lay off a breaking ball that good, but he saw it all the way. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Indians forced to settle for one. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Yankees lead this one 3-1. to one. Hunter Wood is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 44, Hunter Wood. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Leading up for the Yankees. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. Yeah. 
Here comes the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A ball and a strike. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Solo home run there for Aaron Judge. His first homer so far in the series as the Yankees have taken a 4-1 to one lead. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason. And he did right there. Here's Miguel Andohar now. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Reyes is there to put it away for route number one. Now back, left fielder, Corey Dickerson. Ready for another chance? Corey Dickerson. He's working on a one for three thus far. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. One out, nobody on. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. the windup the 1-1 one, one pitch check swing no swing says the home plate umpire ball two and he hits the corner with that one two and two and it's up to a three two full count now I like what he was trying to do there with the two seam fastball but that's a tough pitch to command when you throw it glove side like that it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner crowd gets up for the three two fastball too high ball four well it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind he had him three and two, but he didn't Gary. want to give him anything over the heart of the plate did. So we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. That's ball two. Two and oh. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Now the 2 0 -oh home. Yeah. see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Runners on first with one down. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. 
Right about now, the manager's oh, questioning his decision to bring this guy in. If you can't trust a reliever to throw strikes, you can't trust him at all. We'll see if he comes to get him sooner than later. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Luke Voigt, he doubled his last time through. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. From the stretch. And he fouls this one off. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. The center fielder. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Here comes the first pitch. Now the 0-1. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Ready on 0-2. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Yankees forced to settle for one. We're on to the ninth here in game one. The Yankees lead it four to one. Aroldis Chapman comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 54. Digging in now, Fran Moraes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Sent on the ground out to second. Well, Mayhew's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. So here's Tyler Naquin. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hit back toward the mound. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Here's Carlos Santana now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Stanton has a read on it. Two down. Now back. Left here. Domingo Santana. Striding into the box. Domingo Santana. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth.
Brett Gardner is into the ball game now as he assumes duties in center field. Now playing center field. Number 11, Brett Gardner. He's set and the pitch. Hey. Here comes the 0-1. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Swing and a ground ball to third. Andahar brings it in. Throw to first is in time, and the Yankees win it. The Yankees win. So the Yankees have taken game one of this division series. Yeah, but remember, this is just a five-game series, so getting that first win is really more meaningful in this round than it would be in the LCS or the World Series. Now, if they can win game two, they will be really in a comfortable position. And on the losing end of this one, what about the Indians? Well, they will be pretty desperate to win game two to even this thing up, Maddie, for the reason Dan just mentioned. Game two's outcome's really going to advance the narrative of this series. <laughs> 